Hey, happy Friday, everyone. This is Fred Bird, the nerd, with something new, trying to do something a little bit out the scope, something I've been really interested in in the past, uh, I would say, couple months, three months. I've been watching it kind of on the back end of comic books and video games and magazines. And I thought about doing a magazine report, but it's too broad of a subject, I think, to do just alone. And I'd rather have a panel of experts to do that rather than just myself. But we'll see how much traction this report gets. But we are looking at the ever changing trading card market. Uh, and, you know, there's a ton of really great games that come out, but they don't really catch, I guess, the heat or the popularity of this, it, this particular card set. And that is One Piece. Now, if you guys don't know what One Piece is, it's probably the biggest anime since Pokemon, I would say. I, I would say like when I think of people that like Pokemon and what's another anime they like? Uh, Dragon Ball Z is like one definitely with Gen Xers, Millennials. But I would say One Piece kind of hits that later half millennial or younger millennials and uh, Gen Z population. And the prices are there, man. I mean, this this market has exploded ever since last year with the initial set, I think, coming out last year. Don't quote me on that. Um, my knowledge isn't at its best for this, so bear with me. But these are the top 10, 9 cards that I could find or just products that I could find for One Piece. So if you are enjoying this content, I'll keep doing it. Um, but please hit that like button, subscribe, watch the other videos all the way through in the background, on your break, or whatever. We're trying to get to 3,000 hours watched, and I really appreciate everyone's uh, assistance with that. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, One Piece is just taking over um, a lot of social medias, a lot of medias in general, and I am here for it 100%. So let's take a look. The first card we're going to talk about is Charlotte Perospero. This is the alternate art version of this card. It's from the Pillars and Strength set. I think that book came out. I don't know how long ago it came out. Let's just take a look real quick. Pillars of Strength. Pillars of Strength, one piece. This card game came out 2023, so about a year ago. I don't know. I, I didn't do enough research to see how many other like expansion sets have come out for one piece, and I don't... I'm not an expert enough to know what the different villains or antagonists or friends are, you know, but with time, hopefully we'll get better at that. The most recent sale for this one, though, it's not huge. It's $12.49. However, I was on TCG, uh, you know, TCG player the other day, and this peaked it in April for 50 bucks. So... I would say that prices have come down a little bit, but they're starting to soar again, as what the title says there. So if you're on the lookout for maybe a set to get into, Pillars of Strength might be a nice one to get into, but the art is really beautiful in these cards. It, it reminds me of a kind of a mixture of Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. They really do really well with this alternate art, and uh, maybe we'll get to play one day. We'll see. All right, on to the next one. <laughs> This is Shanks, uh, definitely a really, yeah, I, I kind of upped up the prices on this one, but this is from the Romance Dawn set. And that set came out, let's see. Romance Dawn, I think was like last year as well. Romance Dawn. And again, oh, sorry, this one came out a couple years ago. Now, I don't know if this is the set to get into. We'll kind of go over that a little bit later. But yeah, I think um, the prices for this card or the price for this card in particular is crazy. It's a thousand bucks and up. Um, a recent sale of a Beckett graded 10.0. So that black card was 5k. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Beckett because it's expensive. They're really tough on grading. And you know, for many reasons, right? Everyone seemed to gravitate for PSA for Pokemon. I'm not really into PSA. I just think it, it looks like it's just a really boring looking label. I'm, I'm, I'm a little more open to CGC, but you know, they're fairly new and the market to me hasn't really like gone up. And all the ones I see that grade and 10.0 from, from Beckett, it seems like those are the ones that were people are really trying to get that black label. So it, even though you're spending quite a bit of money, 
it might be worth it to try and get these full art cards in a 10.0 and just risk it to going to Beckett. So I haven't looked at Beckett like nine fives or like 10.0, not black label, but these black labels definitely like, I don't know, for whatever reason, people want to see that black label on there. So, um, and if you're looking for this card, get ready to play, pay a premium because it is expensive. All right, on to the next one. This is the Mucky D. Luffy English version. It's the pick's not the English version, but um, I think this is a it has to be the best card in One Piece. I, I think it's just it's the you know Luffy version. I mean, he's at his you know most powerful, like evidently you know that he's ever been. Three thousand asking on eBay in a in a raw grade. That I didn't see any graded sales that made any sense to me. This is from the Awakening of the New Era set that came out last year. We'll take a look at that set later on, but this was a pull. I mean, you, this is not, I thought initially this was like a, um, like a promo card of some sort, but no, this is like, you gotta pull this from the set. So, or from the boxes, 3000 raw is just crazy to me. Um, I don't know if I'd go out and buy a booster and try and get one of these, but it makes sense to where the boosters are kind of where they're at. So yeah, I don't have a ton of information on this card other than like, it's just beautiful art. I think it's, out of all the ones I looked at, you know, I was looking through this this presentation. I thought this one was the best one. It was my favorite one for sure. So, um, yeah, on to the next one. This this is the card that kind of got me into trying to do more research on One Piece because to me, this was kind of an indi this was an indicator of. Um, the popularity of one piece and that kind of going over to mainstream. So this, you, what you had to do to get this particular card, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. My internet connection was kind of fumbling on me a little bit, but yeah. So to get this particular card, you had to be a subscriber to the PSA magazine and the magazine itself and this card are going for quite a bit of money. Uh, this card itself is selling for 150 last time I checked, but there's a couple days left on that auction. The magazine now is kind of separate from Trading Card Game, but the magazine was sent out in different variant sets. So there's like there's like the regular uh, magazine version. There's a 1,000 print run, and there's like a 500 print run. Those are going for a lot of money, but this is kind of the card to get. I I would personally just buy this and slab it and try and flip it or maybe hold on to it because I feel like this is kind of cementing that one piece is going to be here to stay. And it could one day, I don't know, it could surplant Pokemon as kind of the, you know, magic Pokemon one piece. Uh, it could be the trio of card games coming out, you know, for the next five, three to five years, which these next couple slides will kind of make sense of why I put them out there. But I mean, who knows the popularity of this, of this, of the show is just like incredible. And I mean, the fact that they did a live action for American audiences, I mean, it tells you that there's an appetite that's really big. And I think China has, is really gonna push this into the stratosphere. Something to think about going forward, but nonetheless, this is from the, this is a PSA promo exclusive. And we'll go on to the next one. Uh, this is the Capone Gain Beige. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I believe this is a promo. Um, I haven't seen any recent sales for this, but before we go into the market for this, um, again, again, I just want to thank everyone for their support. Uh, we're about almost 10 minutes into this new series of videos that I hopefully will be continuing to do for One Piece, the trading card game. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe, tell all your friends about this. We'll expand on this in the Ronin 5 show a little more, or I guess the nameless show that we've renamed it to now. And um, yeah, I just appreciate everyone's support. But 3,000 asking for this. I haven't seen any sales for this. But Trading Card Games, thanks for the photo. Appreciate you guys uh, for your support or for your database. Uh, sorry, TCG Player, my fault. Um, this card is just a beautiful card. Um, I remember I've watched only a few episodes of One Piece. I've gotten more into just like the manga itself. But yeah, okay. So this, sorry, this is from the Championship 2022 Um Championships was given to the top players, of, I guess, supposedly. I don't know the exact way to get this, but I think the art's just awesome in this. And to have it as a villain and not like the main character, um, I think that's this is like the one 
villain to get out of the whole set. So there you go. Capone Gain, Beige, 3K asking for this beautiful card. Now, True Romance, uh, One Piece, Romance Dawn, crazy. This is the inaugural set that came out a couple years ago. I remember I was talking about this on, I want to say it was McClay's show. I can't remember. Maybe it was on the show that I was doing with the guys and, and Trey, but we were thinking about buying this like booster set. And I also got a shout out for, to Fedora. He he actually kind of put me on this like a year ago. And I was just like, man, I think I just missed the boat. This was 450 bucks last year. You could have bought one booster box and doubled your money in a year. Now, obviously, like the buying was kind of what freaked me out a little bit. But what comic have I even bought for like 450 bucks? And like, you know, I mean, we've all done that as comic book collectors, right? But a thousand bucks this year. I mean, I've seen sales for like 950, but man, this might be like the, you know, looking back, if, if the success of One Piece continues for the next 25 years, this could be like owning a Pokemon first edition set sealed. Now I'm sure there's like 400 other people are thinking the same exact thing, but as more people gravitate towards this franchise and the fact that it has a live action and Pokemon doesn't, I don't know, man. I, I think there's still a lot of room for this to grow, even though it's grown exponentially. And if you really think about it, yeah, I just think it's not a bad play to buy this even at a thousand bucks and just put it away. But nonetheless, True Romance, the booster box, um, thousand bucks. Who knows? This could be like 4K next year. I don't know. We'll see. And kind of continuing with that, kind of mythology with buying boosters and kind of just letting them like sit. Uh, this booster box was from a year ago. Packs are solid. They're selling for like 10 bucks a piece, which I think isn't, isn't bad. Booster boxes though are asking 240 for this. And now I don't know if there's like a second or first print, but I would go for the English version for sure versus the Japanese version. Just like, that's just how the market is, you know, here, but who knows, man? I mean, 240, it's not bad. It's not, that's half of the price investment in last year's or the first edition from 2022. And who knows, man, this could go to 1K like in, you know, five years or so, or maybe even sooner. I mean, you saw, you know, the previous card we were looking at, and that's like, that's hella. I don't know. I feel like this game has a lot more potential than, let's say, what's that? Lorcana. Um, I haven't looked at Lorcana prices out lately, but maybe we'll look at that on a different show. But I just feel there's more excitement with this with this one piece, you know, genre. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what, what happens later down the road. Um, this is not a rare reply Xbox One. This is Rebecca from the Wings of the Captain uh, set. This came, or last kind of past year's performance of this card. It's 150 bucks back in April. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, it's it's selling for 100, around 134. That's what I found on TCG Player. Thanks again to TCG, TCG Player for all the work they do. But yeah, I thought this was like versus getting a villain, main character, a box. This is like your beautiful female art for a card that hasn't been out very long. Again, you know, I think this is the one other thing too about this One Piece set or these One Piece cards is they may peak, but they're not going to drop down for far like like Pokemon does. They're, they drop a little bit and they kind of stay stay there, you know, stay stay steady. So there's a lot of I think collectors out there wanting to get these cards and they're and they're maybe not selling them right away. They're not trying to flip them. But yeah, man, I, there's so much potential in this card set that I'm just really wanting to focus on it. But this is just a I would say random, but a different type of card to invest in, Rebecca. And back to kind of our villains here, uh, Sakazuki from the Awakening set. This is a pretty cool card for a uh, fairly low buy-in. Uh, 27 bucks in near mint isn't, isn't crazy. If you want to spend a little more money and get some guaranteed kind of long-term value, 150 for a 10.0 Beckett was what they're asking for. Now, this might be a fun set to maybe crack open and maybe do a box opening one day. I'm not sure, but I think 27 bucks, you know, and saying this to, to Beckett, the borders, you want to make sure they're really good and, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm not mad at this. I like, I like this, uh, I like this choice, you know, for kind of a low buy-in. If you're just trying to see what the market's like and maybe like just hold on to some raws and see if they culminate in value, 
Um, I like this one in particular from all the other cards that I kind of looked at uh, to invest in. And yeah, I mean, for 27 bucks, I want, why not? You know, you don't have to get it graded right away, but you know, who knows? Before I get into the last uh, card here, I wanted to want to kind of go over like just what the initial release of One Piece kind of looked like. Now, it wasn't your traditional like, oh, we're going to put out like a bunch of cards. They did a lot of promo type deals, but up until the introduction in 2022, they were giving out cards to promote the game. And this one evidently is the one to get. This is a pretty rare card. It was given out to winners of of the super pre-release One Piece set. Um, I don't know when this article was done. This card's evidently from September 2022. But yes, it was given out. It's a full Hollow Foil, no border version um, card, and you had to win. But the most recent one is going for 1000 supposedly from this article. Now, I don't know. Let's see. And this, again, could be like one of those, man, like, you know, 20 years from now. Is this like a card to get? See, I can't even find any listings for it. Let's see. Let's do TCG player. Maybe they have a... Maybe they have it. Who knows? They're going to be like, what is that search? Okay. Okay. See, I don't even know. Okay. Here it is. 2,698. I mean, this is like people are paying tons of money for that mickey mouse car that came out a long time ago would you rather have this or gosh i don't know star wars like ahsoka variant 98 i think i'd rather have this honestly and um obviously you're not gonna play with that card i, I would send that straight to beckett to be honest but uh really cool i i think that's really interesting stuff but anyway here's our last uh kind of spec or whatever you want. I guess before we get into this last slide, I just, again, I just want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this brand new uh, market report I'm doing for One Piece. And I hope you all enjoy. Um, before that, um, yeah, just hit that like button, subscribe, tell all your friends, share my link, send to people that you know, and let's get into the last one. So this is Paramount War. I believe this came out I don't know when this came out. <laughs> this one came out a year ago, but 244 a booster. It's my investment of choice right here. I think along with um, just because I think it's again, and I'm speculating that this this game's just gonna take off and this is gonna be like the Arabian Nights of if you for you imagine the gathering uh you know lovers out there, this is gonna be like the Arabian Nights for One Piece. I'm kind of bullish on One Piece, man. Like I I just feel like it's an untapped market segment area whatever you want to call it and it's just going to get bigger but i can't find it anywhere that's another big thing for me so i can't find one piece anywhere so um this right here is my investment of choice 240 for a booster is not bad at all um i might just buy a couple store boosters and just store them away or just try and buy boosters like anywhere i can find them and then store them um i think that'd be kind of cool but um yeah if you guys are looking out maybe go online maybe go somewhere you can like you know whatever but um yeah paramount wars is kind of my my pick for the for this video uh for the month the week whatever you want to call it and um i hope you all enjoyed that um definitely something an asset class that i'm really looking into and maybe trying to convert some of that comic book money over to video games and for one piece we'll see but um i do really appreciate everyone's support with the channel we're up to 274 subscribers we lost one today but it's all good um i guess people aren't liking my pokemon openings or video game arc reports anymore so or they disagree i don't know We'll see what happens. But um, thanks for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe to all your friends about the show. And uh, we'll see you this weekend. Take care.